In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still, and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you, and after I have gone and prepared a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. As we hopefully approach the end of the government's lockdown measures, we are all faced with a big decision. Do we go back to how things were before? Return to our old lives as if none of this happened? Or are we going to come out of this better? Better people? a better society, a better world. There have been so many good news stories come from this crisis. Selfless kindness, immeasurable generosity, and new friendships formed with neighbours. More time spent with family, more time for the things we enjoy. Less busyness, less pollution, less materialism and greed. All of us have learnt very valuable lessons in the past weeks And now we choose which way we go. Back to the grind or striving for more. Many of us may still be feeling anxious about the situation and how we begin to move forward. But in the Gospel today, Jesus teaches us to not let our hearts be troubled. God has led us through this far, so we must keep trusting. Jesus also tells us that he is the way the truth and the life. As we all journey into the next phase of this crisis, we must follow Jesus, who is the way, trusting that he is leading us along the right path. Let us walk in the truth so that we truly live a good and abundant life. Lord Jesus, our risen Saviour, you are the way the truth and the life. May we all follow in your way. May our hearts not be troubled as we continue to journey through this crisis. Help us to trust in you more. We pray for the strength to be better people and the courage to live better lives for what we have endured. May the world be a kinder, more generous and selfless place for everyone and for your glory. We make this prayer through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son 